Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, man, coming at y'all with some more NBA breaking news. Now, today, we have a from Shams in a tweet reads Clippers guard Patrick Beverly underwent surgery on his left hand and will miss at least three to four weeks. Team says. But the crazy thing about this is literally Pat Bev just came back two games ago and he's already injured. He missed a lot of time. Missed the whole entire All-Star break and even time before that and just got back recently and is already injured. Pat Bev is the heart and soul of the Clippers defense and is their defensive anchor. Now without him, without him on defense because he is the guy that gives everybody energy and hypes everybody up and just makes them play just that much harder. Pat Bev does the little things in the court that may not end up on a stat sheet, but they matter so much to the team. He hustles for every single ball, is a pesky defender, and just does it all clippers behind the scenes, and just is an all-around big piece of the LA Clippers team. Now with Pat Bev being out, where do the Clippers now have to look for point guard depth? They have to look to acquisition. Roger Rondo, who had a really good game last night, and in my opinion, was one of the most underrated trade deadline moves from the Clippers for acquiring Roger Rondo, a championship guard who has two championship rings in his career and is always a great playoff performer. Now, a crazy thing about this injury is that Pat Bev knew that he broke his hand, but continued to stay in the game just because he's that much of a competitor, that much of a fighter, and that much of a warrior. And here's a video of Pat Bev breaking his hand. Looks to be in pretty good shape. They quickly blitz him. Shot clock at three. George for three. No. And a rebound by Chris Paul. Wild man, just wild. But in my opinion, the Clippers are fine because they've dealt with Pat Bev being out for a good amount of the season, and they have their duo of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Two of the best players in the league, they will be fine. The Clippers, Clippers fans, don't fret. Your team will be You're fine. Still one of the West best teams, one of the league's best teams. Your team will be fine. Do not fret on this injury whatsoever. And also, obviously, expect. Reggie Jackson to get a lot of minutes at the starting point guard position and just like guess take a lot of minutes and split minutes between him and Raza Rondo. But other than that, y'all, that is the video. Make sure to go down below, drop a like, comment down below, sub up. Honestly, I don't know if Pat Bev will be ready to play in the regular season before the playoffs starts because it really depends how he recovers from his injury of the surgery and how his MRIs and all that come out after his surgery and Hopefully all of that goes well. See Pat Bev recover pretty quick and see him on the court pretty quick with the Clippers because he's one of the league's players where people either love or hate him. And the reason behind that is because he plays extremely hard. He puts it all on the floor and just lets that be because he plays great defense. He's a trash talker and is always in his opponent's head. But other than that, like I said, prayers up for Pat Bev. Hopefully we can see him on the court pretty soon. Other than that, that is a video much. Make sure to follow me on both Twitter and Twitter. It's your boy John. See you guys in another video. It's your boy John. Catch you on the next video. And I'm out, man. Peace.